Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Prison Architect. I've taken a break for a short amount of time, had some video stockpiled for my first record session, they're all out now. Let's move on, see what we are doing. Let's see, I was getting ready to do all the job stuff, Just getting ready to start the nutrition research. And I have the crackdown on drugs thing that's going to be going on over time and will be taken care of eventually. So, let's see. The, the nutrition research, that's going to be a tough one. Because it's going to require us not feeding our prisoners basically anything. For at least two days. And that can be a bit of an issue. But I think we'll be able to we'll be able to squeeze it out. We'll we'll be able to cover it. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. So let's let everything go back to normal. Click on the guard. Let's see, how is this going over here? Lights are being installed. We do not have any cables running underneath. Why are these guys just sitting here? Do I really not have any lights set up to be put in? Objects? Orders? I don't have any lights scheduled. There, we'll fix that. And get a couple lights put in here. I forgot what I was going to put here. It, this is a cleaning cupboard, right? <laughs> Don't take a break from this game. You'll forget everything. Uh, darn it. Okay, so... Get lights installed. Roughly like this. And that should cover it. And... There. That looks good enough to me. And in here... This was going to be the laundry room? <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing! Oh, someone had a tool. That's troubles. You're in trouble. What was the punishment for that? Solitary confinement. Right. Well, hope you enjoy your time in there. You get to sit in there, watch all your buddies in the yard, doing their thing. You don't even get a light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not, not a number I can balance very easily. So we'll just do that. Okay. Now we need some utilities going over this way. Right here is where a small issue will be. We can take care of that though. Dismantle utilities. Just that one. We can we can leave the extra wire right there. It's not going to cause any harm. We'll extend this wire out through the hallway, along the hallway, something like that. Whatever you, whatever you can say about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling now. I've succumbed to the ramble. We need a brick wall set up right here so that way no prisoners can walk through the door and get to the storage area. Maybe that's how the guy got the, got the screwdriver. So let's actually lock this door shut for now. As soon as it's, as soon as the wall's made, I can open it again. No guard. Which guard's coming to check on this guy? On Coombs. It's one of these guys, right? There we go. Alright, Coombs, what do you have on you? Ah, 
couldn't find anything. Might have ditched it somewhere. Okay. Let's make that door normal again so that way worker can get out. Objects. No, utilities. Electrical cable. Get that installed, guys. Okay, so I believe that we probably are going to be safe running the washing machines off of this cable. Most of the util most of the machinery we're going to run only on this power station. We're not going to work with both of them at once. Because I can spell disaster. Let's add another capacitor to this station so we make sure nothing gets tripped up when we install the washing machines. Materials, get the brick wall laid out. Objects, add a door. No, there is a door there. Never mind. Alright. Let's see now. What else was I doing? Let's see, did mealtime pass yet? Because I'm only going to change the... Nope, mealtime's coming up. As soon as it hits 10 o'clock, then I can change the regime and the meal quant quantity and quality. To be absolute garbage. <laughs> which will make everyone upset and our guards are going to have to do a good job of quelling anyone from... Our guards will have to do a good job of curbing all dissent. All anger. Speed up time just a little bit because I... I'm so... I forget to make it go a little bit faster every time I start up the game again. Is anyone going to search this prisoner? Hackett, what'd you got? What'd you take? Ah, didn't find anything. Now you get in there, get some food. I must have ditched it somewhere. I don't know where he could possibly ditch it in the hallway, but... It's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so we have... The laundry room almost set up. Let's look at the objects we need. We need to get a washing machine. A laundry machine. Takes a thousand dollars. Fortunately we are very rich. I'll get two straight off the bat. We're gonna need some laundry baskets which I will set up like this. Let's see ironing board. We'll only have two for now. Two ironing boards, two washing machines. I think that balances out just fine. And get brick walls in here so that way prisoners can't come up and get to the storage area through this way. Yeah, thinking about I made it very easy for the prisoners to actually get to the storage area and just grab whatever they want. A little bit of poor planning on my part. Oh well, it's in the past. The past is the past. Oop, and it is time for me to... Time for me to mess with this. They are not going to be pleased prisoners. We'll extend the meal time just a little bit. We'll turn this into free time. Let's see, so it was... Yeah, I'll remember what it was. I should very easily remember it. Set both of these to low, and it should start ticking that over. Yeah, 
And you know, I forgot to actually mention the game updated between my last session and this session. This inmate nutrition research actually changed. Before, it said a low quality meal. And it didn't really give you any indication of what exactly counts, counted as a low quality meal. But a low quality meal is apparently low quantity and low variety. Which, honestly, you should be able to figure that out somewhat easily. Let's see. Then I have to do three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. Alright, so that's in place. Now I just need to connect the washing machines, the laundry machines. And sorry, Richard, we're gonna gonna wake you up probably because we're gonna be laying some pipe through your cell in the middle of the night. And well, it might disturb your sleep just a little bit. Don't worry though, the workmen are are just gonna walk through the wall, which is kind of entertaining. It's like the workmen are ghosts. Let's open that door, let the workmen in, and let them out. All right, you're good. Hold away. And now I can set the room to be a laundry room. Where is that laundry room at? There it is. One heck of a laundry room, I think. Oh, and while we're at it, a cleaning cupboard. And now we can go to deployment and we can set jobs for prisoners. We'll set nine prisoners to work on the cleaning. Wow, we can have a lot of laundry. We'll set eight to work on laundry. The kitchen, we can't do that yet. I think we actually need to get the classes for the kitchen taken care of before we can have anyone work in the kitchen. By the way, speaking of classes, do we have... Where would the desk be? I still don't see any desks, so I think my my game might be bugged and the student desk kind of got removed when I removed a boarding school mod for the game. Which is slightly problematic, but what can I do? So I can't sign anyone to work in the kitchen. I can, however, go to programs, I believe. Yep, programs, and we start the kitchen safety and hygiene, and all rooms are now booked. But I think we can increase the amount of people that can work here by increasing the amount of cookers. I just realized this area here doesn't work out very well, does it? <laughs> it's kind of impossible to get two cookers right here. Oh well. I think eight cookers is going to be more than enough. And utilities. That looks like it turned out just fine. Still running well on that. Power station's going good. Things are going good. Let's see. I think that I should get a patrol going. Until I can get a camera. Okay, that's set. And utilities, let's expand the electrical cable so that it, we can get it down to the workshop area. that. I 
can get the walls put into place. Things are going good. Let's see. Designate rooms. We will designate this area to be the workshop. There's nothing in there yet, but we will get stuff in there. And over here, we will have the forestry area. Now, I don't know if I need to put trees in here myself, or if it will... Oh, it's installing... They're installing trees automatically. Nice! It takes takes money from me for that, but that's good. It's very good. I would also like to have grass out here. Just because I think it looks nice. Oh, and they actually take logs to the workshop. Okay. I didn't know if the logs were taken care of in the forestry area or if you needed a workshop for them. But I see now you... You do all the stuff in the workshop. All the things. Okay. So that's kind of cool. And the prisoners are actually taking laundry around, and so are our janitors. So things are being kept nice and tidy. Prisoners probably aren't feeling very happy right now with their meals. Which is a real shame. But they're gonna have to they're gonna have to live with it for a while. It's not not a great thing, I admit. I enjoy a good meal myself. But this needs to be done. Oh dear, I feel a cough coming on. Ugh, okay, that, that kind of hurt a little bit. But I'm alright. Oh, is it the janitor that actually is? The, the gardener installs a tree. Okay, that's cool. Gives him a little bit more... A little more stuff to do. I like it. So, let's see. We might as well get the wall set up up here. And then I can designate this room to be the exports room. And I think we have everything pretty much set. For our minimum security area. Yes, it's a big minimum security area, but it's exactly what I want. Let's see. I can't really do that either of these because of the bug with the missing desk. Which is gonna irritate me to no end because I really I really wanted to be able to get that desk in place. Maybe if I force it to validate all files, maybe then it'll find it and replace it. I'm not gonna hold my breath though. So, what do I do next? Well... Oh, are they actually taking the wood away now? No, well, don't take the wood away. Is there something I can do to control exports? Valuation... I own 100% of my prison. I can sell shares. You can sell up to 50% of your prison as shares to outside investors. You will be paid cash, Im paid in cash immediately in return for their investment. Your shareholders will take their fraction of the total sale price when you sell your prison. If you sell 30% of your shares in your prison, you will only receive 70% of the final sale value. Okay.
You can buy back shares you have previously sold at any time, although the cost may be higher than the sale price you received. Which makes sense. It's kind of like doing a loan, but more on your terms, I guess. Okay, so this is kind of cool. My prison is worth $210,000. That's nice. I am making $2,017 a day. I have good programs. My grant amount is currently used up. Prison policy, I don't have that. I have to research it. And why isn't this ticking down yet? Or will it start ticking down as soon as it's rolled over to the next day? Maybe that's how it works. Needs, don't need to worry about that. Jobs, prisoners, staff. I don't know if there's any way to control exports. Which is a shame. It's a, it's a real shame. Because I, I want to be able to say, don't take the wood away until you turn it to furniture. But it looks like they're going to keep on doing that. I don't need the wood anyway. Let's see, bureaucracy. I can unlock tax relief. You'll save 1,500 taxes per $10,000 of daily profit. It's not something that we can really use quite yet. Employment and prison policy in the works. Education, not going to be any use to me, so I might as well ignore it. Alright. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this series still. I'm going to cut away here and get back to you in the next episode. Let's see, what should I do in the next episode? I think that the next episode, I'm going to look at expanding the prison northward, perhaps. Or maybe westward. One of these two directions I will expand the prison and then we will start laying out the plans for a medium security area. So, see you in the next episode, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave.